today I'd like to talk about adding right-of-way markers to section views. So in this drawing I have a corridor created uh, and I've uh, added some sample lines and created a section view here and just have uh, uh, in this viewport here drawn a line uh, one inch or one unit uh, in length with some text using my uh, standard text height so point one and uh, for a label uh, on here. Now you can configure the text however you'd like and you can also just use the block uh, later to modify how uh, the label looks but what what we first need to do here is add or create a uh, a new marker style okay so under our general um, collection in the settings tab there's multi-purpose styles and then we have marker styles so we just want to create a new marker style and I'm going to name this right of way and we're going to use an AutoCAD block symbol for the marker. That's where, and I'll go ahead and uh, pick OK here. We'll go back and edit that. That's where this comes in. So what I'm going to do is just make a block out of this. Okay, I'll name it ROW or, or right of way. Uh, we'll pick my base point. I'll just give it a description here. Alright, so now I have a block object to use. So we'll go back into my settings tab, into my marker styles, and find my right of way. Just go and edit that now. And it should be. There, and we just want to change. Uh, the size here to one and using the drawing scale say okay now to uh, to kind of facilitate this we need to create some offsets for whoops we need to create some offsets for our center line alignment so I'll select my alignment and use my ribbon command here offset alignment and I'm gonna just gonna offset for my right of ways and in this case we're 50 feet on either side uh, my style is offsets no labels pick OK so in order to get my label or my my marker to pin to my existing ground I need to create some profiles so now I can go to profile and create a surface profile out of my left and right side do that one more time and now we have the profiles and we can edit the sections so the group properties and in here we have our profile grade so I'm just gonna go into profile grade there's my right side I'll add I'll change my marker style to the right-of-way marker style and I'll add the left side change this also to the right of way. Whoops. Let's say okay. And now our section view should update with the right of way marker style. Okay. And like I said now these are, are dynamic then to the offset alignment so if the offset were to update or change uh, that would change here and then you can also modify the block to modify the placement of the label um, for instance if I just go in and edit the block I could maybe rotate move the text Just pick a nearest spot there then after saving that my display is going to update 
and we'll see the um, the changed marker style in the section view. So that's a very quick and easy way to add right-of-way markers to section views. Civil 3D 2010.